1 in 64 shadow shiny check. Can I find it right now when I need it the most? I got a raid invite. Should I do it? I'm at a one Pokestop town in the middle of Greece right now, halfway through a train journey, four hours north of Athens, to one of the most beautiful places in the world that I've really been looking forward to visiting. And on this trip, I'm giving myself a challenge. If I don't find a shiny, I'm not getting on the train to come home, which is a problem because tomorrow night, we get on the train and come back, and then the next morning, I have a flight to Berlin. So if I don't get this shiny, I don't know what's gonna happen. On top of that, it's a pretty small town where we're going, so I'm not sure how good the Pokemon spawns are gonna be, but at least the scenery will be beautiful. So while I'm on the train here, this might be a terrible idea because my service is really slow, but I'm gonna, oh, no GPS. I guess I'm not. I was gonna try to put an incense on because I really need to maximize the number of Pokemon that I'm gonna encounter. But if I can't even get GPS, I definitely can't use an incense. We're off to a rocky start here. Okay, so this, this is Kalambaka, the town where I have foolishly decided to take on this challenge. Um, I think already this was a bad idea. Just hopped off the train, heading into the center of town, and I've seen a total of four Pokemon so far. Not even all of which can potentially be shiny. So this is definitely gonna be a struggle. But hey, there's definitely, definitely worse places to be stuck, right? The Airbnb has at least a couple spawn points, so I can do some shiny checks here. No lure, or no Pokestop, which means I can't lure up and just hang out here. So if I really want to sit on a lure, I'm gonna have to go into town. But on the 500 meter walk from the train station to the Airbnb, I caught 31 Pokemon. Obviously not all of them can be shiny, and shiny rates typically, well, for pretty much all of these Pokemon, are gonna be one in 450. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of catching if I really want to have a good shot at completing this challenge. But the first order of business is to find something to eat and also catch more Pokemon. And also, like, look at this view. So welcome to the town of Kalambaka at the foot of Meteora. First things first, let's grab a Sigilyph here. This will be a nice one to have. A nice location tag, ha! I'm setting out for lunch. It's a Sunday afternoon, so a lot of things are closed but I'm gonna try to find somewhere to eat, maybe, hopefully, up near those two Pokestops. Just caught a Sigilyph, but more importantly, still going for those shiny checks. There are actually a pretty decent number of Pokemon spawning around the town, at least here along the main street. So, worst comes to worst, I just hang out here instead of up there. I finished eating just in time to catch this Timber Raid. It's got less than a minute left, so I'm gonna hop in here. If I'm gonna find a shiny, I need to take advantage of every boosted shiny rate I can find. So Timber, as a Pokemon that's only ever been in raids and eggs, it has that perma boost 1 in 64 shiny rate. And speaking of raids, Mewtwo is currently in raids, so I'm also going to turn my status to online, and I am not above accepting any Mewtwo raid invites during this challenge. Look, I'm using the shiny Mewtwo in the raid right now, and Mewtwo, as a legendary, does have a boosted shiny rate. It's 1 in 20, so it's very good odds to find a shiny, but I'm probably not gonna get many invites. And honestly, the last time Mewtwo was in raids, it took me 50, 5-0 raids to get my first shiny. So I'm definitely not getting my hopes up, but if anyone sends me an invite, I'm definitely gonna do it. I've gone years without ever finding a shiny timber. Can I find it right now when I need it the most? No. But speaking of boosted shinies, I also have, yeah, a rocket radar in my inventory and shadow shinies have a boosted shiny rate, one in 64. So are there any leaders around? Yes, literally right here. Okay, look, I know this is like the most scenic place I've ever been, but at least for this cliff battle, I'm just gonna do it in the shade because it's hot. 
Uh, 1 in 64 Shadow Shiny check. No, like I got the Shadow Shiny Cubone from Cliff fairly recently, so probably wasn't going to give it to me again. Okay, it's 4.30 on a Sunday afternoon. I haven't booked a tour or anything because I don't want to be stuck with someone. So I'm going to see if I can get a taxi to take us up to the actual monasteries because we weren't just going to hang out in town all day. Is it... Yes, is it possible to get a taxi to the monastery? This is it. This is Meteora. 12th and 13th century monasteries built at the top of these sandstone cliffs. Purely out of respect for the monastery, I forgot to turn my mic on, so here I am to narrate. In order to enter these monasteries, women have to cover their shoulders and wear long dresses, and men have to wear pants. But all of my pants are 350 kilometers away in Athens because it's 100 degrees up here. Now luckily the monastery expects ding-dongs like me to show up, and they have some pants to loan you. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda killing the paper hospital scrubs look. This monastery is the Monastery of St. Stephen, and it's one of six active monasteries up here. There are nuns and monks who do live here. At one time, there were 24 monasteries built on these cliffs, but now there are only six left. So of course, we're gonna spin all the Pokestops so I can send some beautiful gifts to my friends. And what an incredible place to do some shiny checks. But I'll just run you through them real quick. Not shiny, not shiny, not shiny, not shiny, not shiny. You know how it goes. Oh, Snorlax. Don't walk too far away. Snorlax up here. Wow. Imagine if that was my shiny. That would have been pretty crazy. I think that was the only monastery that we're actually gonna have time to go inside because a lot of them start to close around this time. But that's okay because I'm really just interested in like seeing all of this from the outside seeing the view, taking it all in. Um, Spinarak and Nummel, they're both, and Bidoof. Another boosted shiny for me to check is Ditto. Now, of course, I'm not gonna see Ditto on my map, but it is a perma-boosted shiny, one in 64. That means that every Spinarak and Nummel, in addition to being a base rate shiny check on their own, are also a one in 64 shiny check for Ditto. Assuming, of course, that it's a Ditto. I have not, I have not let the Ditto animation play out on purpose, like this entire trip. The one, this is, this is unbelievable. The one Ditto that I purposely let the animation play out, I was, This is a truly magical place. Truly incredible. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I, shiny ditto, shiny ditto at Meteora. <laughs> wow. Okay. Honestly, it's gotta be the drip. I'm literally wearing ditto colors. I got the pink top, the blue pants made it happen. I mean, look, I was expecting to do this Mewtwo raid for a shiny check. I I'm still gonna do it, but I did it. Ch challenge complete, passed, successful. Mewtwo, are you okay? Yo, thanks for joining y'all, I appreciate you. There's no way I go back to back, right? 2319, ooh. Okay, 
I mean, let's just look at this place. I'm feeling super grateful for the shiny, first of all, because that means I can just focus on this, taking it all in and appreciating it. But you know I gotta keep checking. And the cluster spawn here has a Dragonite. It is an event spawn during the TCG event, $29.98, but I have not seen a wild Dragonite in so long. This might be a two-hand catch. Well, let's try it. It's been a while. It could be closer. Well, that's a lot closer. And man, what, what a place to catch a Pokemon. And believe me, it is not lost on me at all just how lucky I am to be here and to be able to do this. Meteora, this place, I actually discovered during lockdown. I found out about it during lockdown. We played a lot of GeoGuessr on stream and playing GeoGuessr is how I first came across this. And I feel so, so grateful that I'm in a position to be able to see a place, decide I want to go there and then do it. I feel very lucky and very grateful for all the support that makes it possible. And believe me, when I travel like this and I make these videos, I don't do it to flex. I do it to share because what I really enjoy, what I really care about is showing this to people who I know might not have a chance to come here. I got a raid invite, should I do it? I already got my shiny. Let's see, I'll do it. I have a pass. Oh, no way. We'll just go AR for the sparkles. Look, I know it's technically not from here, but I'm here while I got it. This place, like I said, oh, that was the wrong berry. It's been so long since I caught a shiny legendary. I forgot pineapple berry. This place really is magical. I wasn't even gonna take the raid. Four XL candy IVs. Honestly, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna call it Muteora, even though it's location tag. Yeah, Remote Raid Chicago location, Meteora. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot get over how beautiful this place is. Yo, oh, this would uh yeah, this would make a great clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> I hope you got what you clicked for. <laughs> Wow. This place is actually unbelievable. The monks used to live in caves up here before they built the monasteries. And obviously at that time, 12th, 13th century, it was a great defense against, you know, uh, potential threats. But I, I get it, I relate. If you've ever watched a stream where I've played a game like Minecraft or Rust, anything where you have to go out into the world and build. This is exactly where I would build. In Minecraft, I always try to find the tallest mountain, build on top of it. In Rust, I'm always trying to build into like these crevices. So I get it. I understand. I relate to the monks of the 12th century. And honestly, that kind of brings me back to something that I was talking about or getting at earlier over there. And, um, and it's the reason that I do this, the reason that I share. It's for people who can't come here on their own, but I also, I, I want people to relate. I want people to see that all around the world, no matter where I go, there are people who enjoy the same things as you, who have the same stories about catching Pokemon, that no matter where you go in the world, there are people to relate to. And I think that if we all understood that, we'd just do a better job of caring for each other. So yeah, wow, thank you um, for giving me the opportunity to do this. 
Now I'm going to climb back up on top of this rock with the rest of these people and watch the sunset. I called a taxi. It's on its way, but I think there was a miscommunication and he thinks I'm at the other lookout. So I'm walking back to that one. And um, let me just say, I absolutely do not recommend walking from monastery to monastery, uh, especially if you're coming up to watch the sunset because prior to the sunset, it's the hottest part of the day and there is no shade. You're walking on a road. There was like, three kilometers maybe that I walked just like on the road um not recommended yes perfect How was it today? beautiful <laughs> just hopped out the taxi back in the center of town in the square and there's a Snorlax uh right here one last on-camera shiny check that is not shiny all right Time to go have some dinner. One last breakfast and coffee with a view. A few last shiny checks here. Bulbasaur, no shiny. Zigzagoon, no shiny. Bidoof, no shiny. Could be Ditto though. Squirtle, no shiny. Man, can we just look at this though? Like, two shinies here. We got Meteora. This one actually has the Meteora location tag. But the Ditto, unfortunately, I think because we were at St. Stephen's Monastery, which is one of the closer ones to the town, it's tagged Kalambaka, but that's okay. We all know where it was caught. Meteora. And that means I can go home. Okay, a uh, nice relaxing breakfast. Turned a little bit stressful when the food took 45 minutes to come out, so I had to just scarf it down and now rushing to the train station because my train, which I am allowed to get on, leaves in like five minutes. Oh, I made it, I made it. Oh, man. We made it. We're going home. Um, if you want to watch more adventure videos, click on this one. See you next time.